Hi there, welcome back. Uh, so this is your assignment video for week one. Um, so this week we're gonna have you uh, moving from starting to think about, um, you know, just sort of what games are and, and how they function to um, thinking about like how games uh, might be used to teach and how um, you would specifically use them to teach. So uh, we're gonna have you do two things this week. We're gonna have you um, pick a game um, it can be either be a serious game. So I think we've, we have some recommended on the site. Um, and evaluate them for their learning. Um, you can use your own rubric, but um, also this week you've seen uh, Konstantin Mitkuch had a, a video talking about um, his framework that he created with uh, Narda Alvarado. Um, and you can absolutely, and I would encourage you to use that, um, that framework to evaluate a game. Um, then we're gonna have you come up with a curriculum. So, um, you know, think through what you would want to teach with a game. Um, think through whether a game, maybe it's the game you've chosen to do your evaluation from, but you can also do another one if you want to choose uh, another commercial off the shelf game or, or something else. Um, absolutely, you know, this is a, a massive open course. So, um, the greater diversity of, of uh, presentations of ideas, I think, the better and the more interesting the discussions will be. Um, so present, um, you know, you're just going to create a small curriculum. It can be a video, it can be a, a PDF, it can be a PowerPoint, whatever you want. Um, and just sort of try to briefly describe um, what you would want to teach um, with what game. So, um, you know, again, try and make this concise, but you want to, you know, when you're doing something like this, you want to target like, um, what do you want them to learn? Why this game? who your audience is, um, and what the context is. So, you know, those things can really help you think through uh, some of the, the practicalities of trying to teach with games. Um, sometimes it's hard. Uh, so, um, you know, context-wise especially, you want to think, you know, am I doing this in an after-school uh, experience? Am I doing this one-to-one -one with my own child? Am I trying to do this in a formal classroom? Because all of those have uh, really different, you know, sort of handles on the experience you want to provide um, for your learner. Um, it could also be, and let's, uh, just one last note, um, it can absolutely be uh, lifelong adult learning. Um, I think oftentimes it's, it's easy to get pegged into, um, you know, this is always for helping children learn, but there's a wide range of uh, information in the world and uh, helping adults learn um, can be great. So. Um, you, there's really no limits on this assignment in terms of context, who your audience is, um, and what game you want to use and how you want to use it. You know, try and surprise us, come up with interesting ideas, um, but you know, make sure you're, you're looking at all the videos and the readings and really trying to make a good effort um, to, to help us understand how you see using games in the classroom. All right, thanks so much. See you next week.